Hi, I'm Pastor Dave Ergens from Saving Grace Lutheran Church. And I know in the midst of winter when it becomes so dark and dreary, sometimes we look for a ray of hope, a little sunlight to just brighten our day. And, and uh, in the midst of that, we, we can also feel as if life and all the worries of this world kind of mount up and, and they pile up on top of us so that we can't see the hope that's right before us. And in the midst of that, um, I, I think of uh, Matthew 5. Verse 14, where Jesus says, You are the light of the world, a city built on a hill that cannot be hid. No one, after lighting a lamp, puts it under a bushel basket, but on a lampstand so that it gives light to the whole house. He reminds us that, of course, Jesus is the light of the world, and we are called to let his light shine in and through our lives, that others might know that, that he has changed us. And in the midst of that change, he calls us to let your light so shine before others that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Everything that we do in this life is, is to uh, be an encouragement to other people and help them uh, as they discover who Christ is in their lives. There was a, an explorer to the Southern Pole named Shackleton and, and in the midst of uh, one of his explorations to the South Pole, he, um, the, the, um, the, the light stopped shining because it was in the dead of winter. And, and uh, the men uh, became despondent and depressed. And, and he said that uh, they knew exactly what time and what second of the day that the, the light would come over the horizon. And he said on that day, uh, one of the men climbed the radio tower so that he would be the first to see the light. And um, he said the whole the whole uh, feeling in the, in the encampment uh, changed after that light shined. In our lives, it should be the same thing. Have you ever met somebody that you, you've said, boy, um, for some reason I love being around this person because uh, they're just an encouragement to me. That's uh, the way that, that Christ encourages us to be uh, for other people, that they might know the hope that we have in Christ. In 1 Corinthians 2, uh, Paul says, For who has known the mind of the Lord our God, who, uh, so that we might instruct him? But then he says this, But we have the mind of Christ. We have the mind of Christ so that we might encourage others in their faith as well, so that the words of Isaiah 58 might be true, The light that I shall break forth like the dawn, and your healing shall come quickly. The Vindicator goes before you and the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. He reminds us that we are never alone. He guides us every step of the way. And uh, in the midst of that, we can be a light that shines as we let Christ shine in and through our lives. Just a little thought for this week.